Hi, right, this is Wire Talker M. I am at my 100 year old homestead, now in suburban area, and I'm going to start talking to you about a mounding technique called Huga Culture and my take on it, which combines silt fence. Well, it's not really silt fence. But if you live in an area that has a lot of moisture, a lot of rain, and it washes away everything, then you may want to find a solution for that problem. So here is my solution, and it's a hybrid of hygge culture and a raised bed. You're going to need a material. So what I used was EK Sunrise 3x50 Privacy Fence. You're going to need a tape measure and you're going to need zip ties. Luckily those zip ties came with that privacy fence. I also used a post driver which you need one that's heavy because you're going to be driving long posts into the ground. I used ground rods. These ground rods uh, need to be spaced properly, so I did three and a half, three feet on my ends and six feet spaces between the beds. Uh, I ended up with uh, about 53 inch height on my rods, and of course the privacy fence is three foot by 50 feet. This is a lot of fence material and it is long you're going to have to spread it out and you're going to need the room to spread it out so here it is starting to lay out and then you take the very ends and you put them together with zip ties through the eyelets so that you can make a loop you're going to take that loop and you're going to attach it to the ground rods so that you are strengthening the corners and you want to use the zip ties all the way down through. You also want to make a couple setups on this so that it is both closed at the end and secure to the rod. You can go through this material with the zip tie and attach additionally to the rod anywhere you need to for strength. Then after you've got the two rods at the one end, you go to set the third end. Again, the ends are going to be three feet from each other. And then the length is going to be 22 feet. So you pull it as tight as you can for that third pole. And then when you go to do the fourth pole, you put it in the three foot position and pull it as tight as you can. This will give you a very tight structure to start your bed. So there you go. Three feet by 22 feet and you add extra ground rods. The ground rods need to be on the outside, not on the inside like in the one picture before. Now you secure your zip ties. Everywhere you see a loose space or you think there's going to be a strength problem, you've got plenty of zip ties, you're going to have extra. Use as many as you like on these rods to secure the corners and cinch it up. Once you have done this, you'll be able to add material like in the previous pictures, putting logs at the bottom, sticks, twigs. Eventually you can secure additional areas with the bamboo like I showed in the other picture there and that'll have your bed.